Now he's sitting and he's busy tweeting as we speak to Nick Rabinovitz, growing up in the hard green streets of Constantia, having to go to piano lessons. Yeah. Really growing up hard. Yeah. Tough life. Yeah. It's, despite all that hardship, um, I, I try. I do try to, to make a good life and to work hard. And you're backed by popular demand. I wasn't actually tweeting, by the way. Oh. I was actually SMSing my son, my wife. My <laughs> Which one is it? My Your son's son? only two, so oh. he doesn't quite get the SMS thing, but he can do the iPad. Oh. But I said, just please not to watch the video again. Yeah, because it's got an age restriction. Violence, violence, violence. Violent. So the show that you launched in January is back by popular demand. Stand and deliver. Yes. Well, actually, nobody actually demanded it, but I thought I'd just do it. But we're calling it popular demand. Okay, so yeah. back by popular demand, stand and deliver. For people who weren't there in January to see it, yes. firstly, give us the reasons why you weren't there. No, I'm joking. Why should they go oh, and see it, was, it now? It, it had just been Christmas, everyone was broke, and the rest of them, we went to Plitz. We didn't know the show was on. <laughs> so why should people go now? And we're launching the DVD now. That's the reason to come. And, um, and also a book that I've written that's also, also going to be, I'm going to be signing the book. Because mm -hmm. that's what people, authors do. The book is that. not the long walk to freedom. No, it's it's the it's. I'm sorry, Tata, but it's called the long walk to a free ride, and it's actually a study. It's a study guide for Limpopo matrix. <laughs> um, no, it's not. It's no. not that. So this has been a really busy year. You started in Jan with a new show. You became a dad. You're a radio presenter, which a lot of people don't know that you've got your uh, uh, regular slot, weekly slot. Yeah. You've launched a book. You're super busy. How are you managing? To I gave birth. Everything? Your wife well, did. technically, yeah. not. How do, you, how do you juggle everything? Well, we live in Cape Town. You know, this is where we live, and so the mountain really, like, you know, the mountain's amazing. It just chills us out, and we just like feel peaceful and relaxed. It's like, uh, uh, some of us. But you're never home. You're always traveling, Joe. But you're doing a lot of yeah. corporate things. Yeah, people actually, it's funny because people call Cape Town Slapstart. Mm -hmm. But for me, Joburg is actually Slapstart because <laughs> having two small kids, that's where I go to slap. <laughs> and so it works out. Now, stand and deliver the, 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 the frame and the poster that everyone sees on the side of the road yeah. is a photo of you on a surfboard. In my that, underpants. In surfing underpants. in my underpants. Did that have to be Photoshopped? Because I believe you can't surf. Uh, I can surf, sort of. And it, there was no photoshopping involved whatsoever, although I don't normally go out in my underpants. <laughs> we're just going to leave it right there. But now, Nick, a funny thing happened. We were busy sitting here chatting, and Cabello's been wandering around the studio. And while Nick and I were chatting behind the scenes, Cabello came up and said, Nick, what's your nickname? Is your shirt? Just show your shirt so everyone oh, yes, can see. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Is that your nickname? Tingum Longo. is not my, this is not my nickname. My nickname is actually Unik. Unik. Unik, yeah. Uh, which is, uh, some people, I uh, actually had a show called Unique. Mm. Some people thought it was Unique. It's because he's unique. Unique. Or is it Unique? Is it about Lance Armstrong? I don't know. Well, is it on that topic, you've got a lot to say about Lance Armstrong. I don't have a lot to say. You just told me now we're going to discuss Lance, Lance, <laughs> Lance, Lance Armstrong. Mm -hmm. And then Cabela was like, oh, what is he going to do? He's lost all of his sponsors. Well, and I, I feel for him because, what did I say? If I, if I, if I lost all of my sponsors, I, I'd be pretty much where I am now. On the couch at Espresso? Yeah. And you're a, are you a rugby supporter? Yes, I love rugby. I've loved rugby since I was 12. I actually wanted to be a rugby player. What position did you want to play? An Afrikaans rugby player. <laughs> Why is that? I don't know. I think it was my grandparents were Buri They mm -hmm. grew up in the thing and they all at Afrikaans Kaprat. And so I wanted, I used to practice on my own. I'd commentate on my own games. <laughs> and I used to practice on my own now, talking about free, and I'm sure you're sitting at home laughing, how would you like to win yourself one of two sets of tickets to see Nick's show? We've got two for Cape Town show, and we've got two for the Johannesburg show. What are the dates, Nick? Uh, Cape Town is this Saturday, which is the 27th mm -hmm. of October. And then, oh, there, the 27th <laughs> of October. And then November the 10th at the Lyric Theatre. At Gold Reef City. At Gold Reef City. And we've got tickets up for grabs. All you need to do is you need to SMS EVENT, your name and city to 33728, and you can stand a chance. 33728. Yeah. That's like from that other show that you, who shall not be named that you used to present who we can't talk about because it's the SABC.
And that's it, yes. So Nick is going to be staying with us. I'm going to put him in an apron, test out his cooking skills in the espresso kitchen. We'll be back after the break.